I'm Juan Martinez, I'm Senior Product Manager for NXCAM Cameras, and I'm going to talk about the FS700. It's a brand new breakthrough uh, uh, technology camera, and this is a second camera that is uh, part of the family of NXCAMs that have an E mount. E uh, sounds like 18 in Japanese, and this is the most important part of the camera. It's a special lens mount. And it has a only 18 millimeter flange distance. This means that with a simple tubes extension, we can put virtually any 35 millimeter lens on the camera. You can use all DSLR, wonderful DSLR lenses. You can use all the cine lenses. The camera is a super 35 millimeter size, so all the cine lenses will cover it. And you can use even uh, modern DSLR lenses like Nikon with very inexpensive adapters. In uh, this NAB, we're showing the burger mount, which is going to be available very soon, uh, that will be able to control the focus and the iris electronically for Canon EF lenses. But here's an amazing breakthrough. Uh, Sony has developed this special mount for the Sony A-mount lenses. About three or four years ago, Sony got into the DSLR business, and we bought a Canon Caminolta, and overnight, we became a famous lens maker. Uh, this, has a, this adapter has, has a, a semi-translucent mirror. It sends a very small amount of light down to a beam splitter and a phase detection system. And this allows it to do a very, very accurate and very fast uh, automatic focus. Now, uh, many of you may think that real men don't need, <laughs> and, or, and real women don't need out of focus. But if you're shooting, we're shooting a reel uh, shot by Andy Young, uh, who's a world-class uh, nature photographer. And he shot a dog running towards him at 240 frames per second. And the, the dog run over 50 feet. And the system tracked the focus all the time. This is a shot that would have been very difficult to, to, to do uh, holding the focus manually. It is also possible to track subjects that are walking uh, if the actors don't hit the mark. Or even if you're doing interviews and somebody leans forward five inches. Uh, so it's not for every job, but it's there. It's a wonderful uh, technology. The sensor, Sony is the largest image sensor manufacturer, and we have developed a sensor that runs very, very fast. This camera can crank all the way up to 960 frames per second. It is full HD 1920 by 1080 at up to 240, and at 480 we uh, reduce the vertical resolution slightly, and at 960 we reduce the vertical and the horizontal resolution. It can record up to 16 seconds real time at 120 and 8 seconds real time at 240 in both instances uh, the playback time at 24p will be 80 seconds of slow motion wonderful beautiful slow motion very fluid very buttered um, the camera uh, has all of the adjustments you like and the, the initial the FS100 because the shallow flange is so narrow we were not able to implement a traditional neutral density filter array. In this camera, we borrowed technology from the F65, and we have these ultra-thin filters, and we created a system where the filters spin, actually, as a turret. And now we have two, four, and six stops, attenuation, as well as clear, of course. The camera offers all of the functionality that you would want to see on a... On a on a high-speed uh, high or a production camera, including a high-resolution viewfinder and that can be used with a viewing tube that is included with a camera or used uh, separately as an LCD. This could be oriented in any direction So the, from the left or the right, the camera, uh, this image sensor, as I said, is a 4K, and the camera, uh, internally, it records only HD uh, up to 1920 by 1080s, 60p uh, speed. Of course, the high-speed uh, uh, high signal is also recorded onto, at 24p, so there's, a, so there's a memory buffer. And after it's captured, you can capture at the beginning of the, uh, of the buffer 
or at the end or half end. So you can decide at the beginning of the event, at the end of the event, you can capture the previous eight seconds or 16 seconds and store them in the memory buffer. And then it gets recorded at 24p into the camera. It also comes out at 3G HDSDI or the HDMI. The 3G HDSDI will crank all the way up to 1080p and it has um, embedded time code and it can be either native progressive, segmented progressive, or with pull down. The HDMI now can be either native progressive or uh, pull down. There is all the necessary controls to manage the audio just like the most advanced Sony professional camera. The camera offers the option of recording to SD cards or memory stick or to an optional module, a solid state hard disk drive that plugs on the side of the camera at FMU 128. So this allows you to capture up to 10 hours at 1080p and up to 13 hours at 24p or 60i. Uh, it's a world cam, so it runs at all the European or United States uh, frequencies. So you can shoot content for Europe or shoot content for the United States with the one camera. 